good day welcome back to my youtube channel api codes so um we'll be talking today about um how to validate customer so the process of validating a customer requires the customer should be uh, should have been created and it can actually just work for only people with um only work for people with um, dedicated virtual accounts so from there so we previously looked at this but where we need our customer code so we created the previous video we created a customer we created a customer with um, with the pay stack api create customer api so we created a customer here now we're going to look at how to actually do this to validate this customer so let's go down to see so this you can use this test credentials to test your code then um then you could use a webhook please you can check out my previous video how to implement webhook in um in paystack and how to implement it generally in php so you can use it and be able to get this so please check out that video so you can learn how to do that so um okay so you can see there are other reasons why the customer validation field account could not be resolved please try again account name bvn is incorrect account number of bvn is incorrect so um okay so this is just it so you could actually reasons to validate the customers so you can look at it here it allows name or it allows us name the bank account using the name registered to the provided bvn so local re re regulations require that customers information validated before creating account numbers on their behalf so this is very very important like very important so um let's dive straight into the code and see how it goes so i'll go down there validate customer so, so just a second So validate customer so you can look at it here you can see from this back end we have the banks because we are, the users are going to send in their so we have this here we have this um, customer code which we'll get from the front end so i actually put the dummy customer code i put the dummy customer code so you can get it from your apis or whatever then put it there so um after creating the customer i can send in the customer code but me i just got mine so let's continue don't forget your paystack secret key here then um let's see the front end so sorry just php okay so this is it get all banks then from there let's look at how the, what we are getting from the customers yeah we need to get all bank because we're going to be getting all the banks for the user so that they can select their bank and then select their account bank account type yeah select the type if it's a bank account so i think it's the only bank account they have currently so so we can now check it so the person put in the bvn account number then um okay so let's dive straight to the code so this is it now so the message that's coming forth you can actually use it to um, show and there are also other information so this is the test credentials below you can use it instead of using passing in passing in um, the custom information to test it then this one you can now use it to yeah to actually um, to do it live to go live so this is for testing so the country you can use country gh ghana and other country codes so you can actually you do that um okay so i think that's all for now so let's now go straight to the code to the bra to the implementation here so we'll just have it um, 
validate validate customer okay so 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 just So from here, I just put in put, the customer puts in a BVM and account, then the verify BVM must be 11 digit long. So once you successfully get, you get this response. Yeah, you get this response. You get the success response. Yeah, yeah. Customer identification in progress. So a webhook will be sent later, having this information you get now so um i think that is all please like share subscribe and um we can we can build this community and make things easy for our young developers thank you very much